All right, what's up, guys? And you know, as always, welcome to a bit of a video. You know, I'm not very good at these, but I really just want to straight out go and talk about uh, the Pokemon Direct, of course, and my thoughts of what I think the future of the game might hold, and what I really wish was happening if these kind of falls in line. Um, first and foremost, you know, the four new Pokemon of Pokemon Direct. The, the Basco Legion was probably the coolest one, right? Um, new form, and it looked great. Go and Ghost and, uh, well, Water uh, does have it perks. Like, Jellicent is probably the only one I think represent that typing. It's a very defensive one of that. Uh, Basculine has always been, well, either really special or physical. Physical is probably better, but it can definitely do both. Um, being able to capitalize on maybe something like Shadow Ball and hopefully getting something like Portal Guys will make it a very, very good offensive perk when it keeps that ability. Um, I mean, that's two more abilities, and consider the bond to the Pokemon Legends game. We don't know how that meta will look or if ability is going to be a thing, but if they're implementing to the games, then that's going to be a very interesting just thing to follow. Same thing with Waynard, uh, the new standard form that for some reason wasn't nice. Another normal psychic, and yes, I was actually disappointed. I really want Stantlet to become an upgraded Pokemon, but uh, at the same time, um, I really wanted to take their time, and I really hope they make something different with that typing. Oranguru, definitely nothing special. Indeed, he has its psychic terrain as his main niche, but Meloetta, still you know, so long ago, represent or implemented oh, you know, two, almost 10 years ago, still is the peak of that type combination. And if Winner represents something plausible and an upgrade to that, I'll happily take it. But still, like I said, very disappointed. I actually happily would have taken a normal ice time. It would have been an awful type combination, but just, just the idea and the concept alone is actually enough for me to kind of be interesting in it. Uh, plus, I, I really wish for a new physical ice type move that actually is stronger than ice crash and I, I really want that to happen. <laughs> but yeah, those two kind of covered and you know the Legends do great and even Diamond Pearl looked great. Um was a bit of a talk that you know they upgraded the graphics and if so slightly I still think the game looks good. Um for a Switch game it's still no it still is not that impressive but consider how Sword and Shield look like this is, in my honest opinion, a step up. And, and that's kind of where I consider Sword and Shield looks way more ambitious. It is just the simplicity of Diamond and Pearl that just makes it... It makes it more polished, somehow. I really couldn't tell you why I think so, but it just it makes more sense. Um, and, oh yeah, and of course the the original forms of, uh, what was that? Braviary, which was awesome. And uh, as far as we know, Growlithe and most like Dark Knight. Um, gonna cover them fast. Um, it looks like Braviary is gonna retain its physical prowess, I'm sure. And uh, over has and headbutt and share force combined with the life orb. Yeah, that could be a very dangerous mod. <laughs> it actually could be a great one. As while the psychic and um, flying combination are in the plenies, uh, they still don't have a physical representation of that type. Of so by default, Braviary is probably gonna be a very great implementation. Like I said, still, if abilities are implemented in this game. And as far as Growlithe go, you know, Rock Fire, we still haven't had a fast version of that. So you have Macargo, which is in the VM, and then you got a Charcoal Pokemon. Um, I think it's called Charcoal, right? The last form. Um, really like that form, but um, it's still a steam engine and whatnot, but it still isn't a fast offensive Pokemon. The Fire and Stone Rock combination is a very physical, or very offensively, I mean, a scary combination to be forced to switch into and, you know, soak damage from, and consider that none of the mods represented yet are fast enough to provide damage, I think if Arcanine is going to get a proper revamp and upgrade, this is going to be an amazing interpretation of that combination. I think probably the first time it's going to be physically viable to capitalize on as the stab combinations alone is very hard to soak properly, and I also remember that Arcanine gets close combat, if he retains that, well, damn, we have a very scary mount. Just the accessibility of Fire Rock in combination with a physical or fighting type combination is, 
in my book, just one of the dangerous stuffs out there. And I'm sure often it's going to be a very viable Pokemon. Uh, but like I said, those were in the Legends game and moved to January. So, first rundown, cool, new Pokemon, nothing to it. Um, I'm excited about it, and it looks like it's going to be more combination. Um, I think one, there was silhouetting, you know, the winner was one silhouette, and the braviator was one silhouette, and then it was a Pokemon climbing on silhouette, and many hopes that that silhouette is of a regional variant of a braviary, or not braviary, I mean Glade or Bishop. I'll happily take any of those, or any interpretations really, and some even speculated that maybe the starters maybe and really hopefully get um, interpretation uh, of a last form that might actually deviate and look different than be a regional starter. If so, then Cyndaquil, um, Oshawott, yes, and uh, Rowlet is going to be the first interpretation of that and I really want to see that. Uh, honestly, I just want Oshawott and Cyndaquil to get proper upgrades because as of right now, Love the design, but they're not on par with what a Pokemon in their category should be able to do. Uh, but yeah, that's just leave that behind. Uh, my main, not issue, but what I really want to talk about is that the very was extremely specific about Diamond and Pearl, the remakes and Legends are not going to be implemented in ranked battles. This means, in theory, they're not going to be a meta where they are involved. Sword of Shield is going to represent, well, pretty much all of it for till the next installment. So the first was kinda, why would they do that? Why, why would that be a thing? But the more I think about it, the more I hope that this is the route we're going about, which is that Sword of Shield is gonna be the main base metagame, and I'll happily play that, and Pokemon introduced as we go are gonna be implemented into that Pokedex. I can only hope that's the route, um, because if not, then pretty much as you know, a Wi-Fi battler, I'm probably locked into Diamond and Pearl as it being the most recent game. If not, that means that Diamond and Pearl is going to be a hub for plays, but I'm going to have all my meta stuff on Sword and Shield. And the reason I'm going to implement that is because that means that the Legends, who now introduce more Pokemon into the meta, might actually be able to send Pokemon from home to Sword and Shield, or even more interesting, Diamond and Pearl. We don't know if that's the stuff or that's what they're gonna do, but I can only assume and hope that is what they will do. Mainly because if they do that, that means that hopefully the future's Pokemon is gonna be basically that every new game is going to have Pokemon introduced that will be implemented into the main games. And it also means that the main game will be able to be expanded upon till the next generation instead of having a new game where the new expansion will come and the decks might be limited again. I happily take a broaden upon Pokedex on the first game, even though other games get added in the process. So I really hope this is the route they take. It's only cool speculation, but for me, it would just be very tough to, I like the Diamond Pro Pokedex, fine, don't care about it, but new mods, regional variant, not having them implemented into a turn base game, the hype behind them would be very negligible if we didn't know if we could use them or not. Not to say the Legends are not going to implement a, I don't know, a battle system that will be interesting to follow, but I think most Pokemon players really want their capabilities implemented into the turn-based aspect because of that's what we know and that's the VGC aspect, because VGC is still huge and considering COVID might actually be not over, but we are clearly open up a lot more. That also means that implementing VGC rules, considered the rank battles aren't in the Diamond and Pearl, will be expanded upon in this old game with the new Pokedex. Like I said, I really hope that's the case, because if not, then there will be very little reason to get Pokemon Legends or even be hyped about the new mods besides the, you know, the games itself, but rather I really like to have an expanded Pokedex with a lot of new mods and be able to capitalize on them on an environment where you know I can flourish, but also I think people really want to try and use them. Um, like I said, New, new toys in an old game is always great. So, I, like I said, if you take this route, then Pokemon is on a great track of becoming a very, very broad um, well, IP. It already is broad, but this route really expands upon something that I, for one year ago, could not even have think about. So, yeah, I hope that's the case. I also hope you guys enjoy this type of video. Like I said, I'm not usually doing this. I think my 
PokeTuber competitors that do a vastly superior job than I do. And when I want to reach out and do these type of videos, I don't want to get lost in <laughs> the scrolling. And at the same time, I want to actually, you know, get to talk with you guys who take the time to really follow me. And you guys coming in, hey, what's up? Uh, this video is not for you. <laughs> but yeah, like, I really just want to talk with the guys who are taking the time to follow me because you guys are great. And uh, I become, I'm not a big channel, and uh, which means that it means a lot to me that you guys really take the time to just listen to my stuff. It's weird in that way. But anyway, guys, as always, thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care, everyone. All right.